What is the knowledge that allows someone to persuade someone to do what they want? How can someone control the cards they are dealt with and turn it around on the other person? Why is it that Yuji Katagiri is able to do this through mere mind games? Well, plot. Okay, but seriously. Yuji Katagiri is an example of pure manipulation. Someone like Light Yagami, who can manipulate well, still has the actual IQ going for him, whereas Yuji has the EQ, predominantly emotional intelligence. For those of you who don't know, based on his understanding of money and how money in the context of Tamodachi gain, general life and business can be psychological. Chapter 110 refers to when a certain character from Tamodachi game describes what Yuichi Sensei, Shiba Taizen, would want for his successor. The qualities he saw in a successor were that they could understand a full 100% of someone's suffering and still betray them regardless. Being ruthless is one of his key traits. There is an underlying understanding in them. Today, let's look at the method behind Yuji Katagiri's manipulation and how he is able to perform such feats using basic analyzation and using examples from a book named The 56 Laws of Manipulation. Yuji Katagiri is one of many masks, literally. His ability to put on an act and use it to his advantage is a masterful tactic that few can do. Throughout Tomodachi game, you'll never really notice Yuji properly break. Compared to Light Yagami, who multiple times broke down, that even Ryuk noted back in chapter 12 that Light usually has a calm demeanor to him and his snapping is abnormal. The reason is, Yuji has amazing emotional management. His ability to manage his own emotions is what allows him to trick others. During just an early feat, which was him tricking Tenji by acting very naive and pretending to know who the traitor was publicly, then failing to do so, which in Tenji's mind was an actual mistake and this mistake would lead Yuichi to be less trusted due to his mistake. However, as shown later, as you all know, this was the truth. He did know who the traitor was, but through a different method than presented beforehand. Throughout the entire little battle between Yuichi and Tenji, the Tomodachi game administrators, and especially Tsukino, says he's an absolute monster and an insane person. In this context, insane would be insanely cunning, and not insane as naive. Of course, this is for manga purposes to hype up Yuichi's abilities and get the audience prepared. But still, Yuichi pulled one over everyone here by just using his ability to misdirect Tenji and conceal his plans in front of the audience. With his encounter with Kuroki, he is also very selective with how he acts and presents a false facade to him. With his plan being shown after with Tsukino, and it just displayed that Yuichi was always bound to win, as he was able to read how insecure someone like Kuroki was based on what he thought what a leader was, which was someone who had the brains and the guts. Which later, Yuichi outsmarts him and makes him scared like a wimp, which dismantled their trust for Kuroki and Kuroki's own self-view. In the Friends Prison game, Yuichi once again uses his ability to act and hide his feelings, literally destroying any form of ego you could have to submit like he did. He had an amazing emotional management with himself, keeping his composure and smooth acting skills along with his fluid reasoning as Yuichi figured out how to do this due to the game being about likability. As mentioned before, Tsukino again mentions that Yuichi had deduced the true nature of the game early on. Yuichi at least knows as long as he complies and lets them order him around, it at least gives him a chance to survive. Acting like this is good for him here, but it's also a misdirection because, well, <laughs> later we get the reveal. Yuichi uses this opportunity to do things under everyone's noses, which Tsukino notes, do you really think that man won't do anything when given three days of free time? Something the 48 Laws of Power would call play a sucker to catch a sucker. This is my example as during this time and even beforehand, Yuichi had won this little match already. Later, once again, Yuichi realizes the situation and he has to put on an act again and play all as a joke to Kuroki. Now, of course, Yuichi isn't deceiving anyone here. It's pretty obvious, but de-escalation was one of the best things you could do right here. Through this was just miniature actions compared to the giant scheme. Yuichi had already won from the beginning. And as Kuroki states right here, was that one whole big act? Later, Kei asked Yuichi about his true intentions and how Yuichi possibly caused a lot of things to happen. And most things were traps for him and his response, as if. There's no way I would ever think of something so evil with a smile on his face. Best of the best doesn't let the prey notice that they are being deceived until the end, huh? The interesting thing about selective facial expressions with Yuichi Katagiri is the possible acting of his aggressive outbursts, where he is very unhinged for a bit. If you notice ever that Yuichi uses a lot of threats which is just another part of his manipulation. Being known as someone who killed three people, he actually is kind of shy on really properly nearly killing someone. Of course, his measures seem possible to kill someone until you realize that it was all according to his plan. But logically, like with Maria, it's not 100% foolproof, 
but he plays on that type of risky nature. Some of his threats and aggressive behavior in itself is another act, which you'll notice especially with threats like holding knives against people's throats, or even during the friendship hide and seek, where he threatens Group K's main boss, who of course wasn't, but he only threatened. All he did was truly break his own fingers. Yuichi is also different compared to his younger self. However, that split with himself with Shiba and Katagiri is yet to be truly seen if we can figure out Yuichi's true personality as anything can't be trusted at face value due to his acting skills and whatever else we've been presented. Also, hey, subscribe if you like this video so far. I have more Tomodachi game videos and similar types of content in the future. Yuichi Katagiri and his art of attacking people's mental is excellent. A good example was during the friendship hide and seek game, where during an extended period of time, Yuichi figures out the structure of Group K's friendship just based on observation. During it, he figures out the personalities of each member and is able to work that into his plan when later pushing Maria off a cliff, calculating that one of them will save her. He was able to do this with a disguise compliance strat, which we'll go into after this, and then also testing the waters, taunting them, and seeing how they would react to each taunt. With just this action, Yuichi was able to make seemingly pointless actions into a method of figuring out the structure of the friend group, and also the personalities. This comes into play later, when he's able to figure out the boss's weakness and use his kindness, which also misdirecting him into thinking he broke their team member's fingers, when in the end, he only broke his own. Distraction in the manipulative sense is one of Yuchi's favorite tactics as he's able to distract people from his true goal and conceal it all. As Tsukino notes every time Yuchi acts abnormal, he after all is a man who wouldn't take any meaningless action. So every time Yuchi seems to be doing something so minor, it ends up building into part of his scheme. If you want to know something so called with Yuichi Katagiri, which would involve his previous tricks of selective facial expressions and distractive tactics, but another which does involve, but can be separate in itself, is disguised compliance. The name itself can tell you a lot, but to break it down, disguised compliance is a manipulation technique used by individuals to appear as if they are complying with rules or expectations or actually doing the opposite. This technique is often used in situations where individuals are trying to avoid punishment or consequences for their actions. To use disguise compliance, the individual will make small modifications to their behavior or actions that will allow them to maintain the appearance of compliance without actually following the rules. An example of this can be Yuchi's disguised compliance in the Rock Paper Scissors game, which he appeared to be following everything Kuroki was ordering him to do, while slowly planting the seed of doubt within Kuroki's people. And then during the Rock Paper Scissors game, where Yuchi thinks outside the box and uses the ability to control the situation by never stating which hand he could use when giving the offer to him in Rock Paper Scissors, by having Kuroki, who said at the start that he had the brains and the guts, later showing he had no brains as Yuchi had outsmarted him, but also no guts, as Yuichi beat him down and made him terrified of the punishment in which he had acted upon him, as that, that was the deal if he lost the game. As we said before, he did more of this tactic in the friendship hide and seek game. A general perspective can be on purpose disguising compliance where he hides his true intentions as he misdirects people, especially new people, into thinking he is an awful tactician. Or for example, on the cruise ship with gambling. From the very start, he pretended to have bad luck and presented the idea of being bad at gambling because of the lack of control, which Yuichi excels at, and more luck, with also Shiba Taisen said, the people who play end up losing money eventually. While doing this, he boasted people's ego, and eventually that did lead them to not seeing the full picture, where it turned out the mind controller controlling the controlled turned into a mind controller controlling the controlled, controlling the mind controller. How the situation worked out, was that Yuichi understood completely Kamashiro's method. Yuichi breaks this down as first, show a miraculous situation to the person who had been cornered mentally to gain their trust. Next, point out their weakness and ingrain in their mind how scary decision making can be. Do so and that person will stop trying to think and make their own decisions. And they'll start believing that leaving others to make decisions for them leads to happiness. And with this, the mind control is complete. Which is exactly is presented as Kamashiro's method controlling Yutori. Yuichi fully understanding this method turned it right on its head, with the realization that technically, Kamashiro went back into a corner, would rely on Yutori, and he'd use his brainwashed companion, and try to use her to win. Basically relying on her, and he didn't calculate that possibly, her mind control would be broken. He's fully relying on her, which Yuichi used to his advantage. There are plenty more laws of manipulation, and not just with Yuichi. If you want to see more of the laws, as I used only two of them from the 56 Laws of Manipulation book, as it says 56, so there are 54 more to go or it gives you the term of the technique, but also explanations, plus examples. It also gives you a way to figure out if you're being affected by such a technique. 
and in general learn basic psychology. Yuji himself is a pure manipulator type character, whereas other character archetypes like him can have manipulative aspects, but not be fully categorized as such. Yuji's manipulation is about understanding someone and then choosing to use that to his advantage. His high level of emotional intelligence is equivalent to the opposite, which is Kei, who has a high level of intelligence. That's the parallel it's meant to make. Not to say Yuchi himself isn't smart or a genius, because that's a broad term, which you can easily apply to say Yuchi is a genius in his ability to understand the human mind. But he simply is someone that with his extraordinary ability to act and be selective with his emotion, able to think outside the box, but also controlling the box.